<laughs> hello, hello, I am back again and today I want to do a quick video all about a molten brown perfume. I love, 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 love molten brown perfumes. I think they're so special. If you think of molten brown and their beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bath and shower gels, imagine that, but like taken to the next level. Like all the perfumes are based on the classic bath and shower gels, but they're more, they're more complex, they're more luxurious, they're more opulent, fabulous, just wonderful. They just ooze wonder and if you think of like something like heavenly ginger lily it's such a pretty pretty bath and shower gel but like the perfume version is just like it's more it's pretty but it's also exotic and magical and warm and sunshine filled and just so much more and um yeah i just think that i just think they're wonderful i'm such a fan of the odor perfumes that they've done and i feel like i need to give them more love on my channel so i'm gonna try try and do some more molten brown perfume videos soon because I don't know I feel like they've been popular in the past and I haven't given them enough love recently so today I'm going to be talking about heavenly ginger lily here it is it is beautiful it is in the classic molten brown perfume bottle it's got this kind of like beautiful resiny top also the bottles are refillable which I really really love about them um yeah we've all got to do our bit for nature and um I think it's really cool that they are refillable. So um, yeah, the perfume. Let me get up the website and get up those deets. So it's a 100ml bottle and it is priced at £120. Um, it's not just me that loves this perfume. It's actually got a 4.8 star review out of five, by the way, on the website. And, the, um, and also it's cruelty free, 100% vegetarian, free from parabens and made in England. And the notes are fresh ginger, cardamom, tuberose, lily, cedarwood, and vanilla. And um, it's described as entice the senses with a delicately floral notes of our heavenly ginger lily eau de parfum, fresh ginger and cardamom intermingle, intermingle with tuberose and lily, fill it, finish with cedarwood and vanilla at the base, an exotic, and oh my God, I cannot speak an exotic escape um it's beautiful it's such a beautiful perfume i'm wearing it already but i might spritz a bit more just just for a little extra joy um it opens with such freshness and it's so uplifting and so clean and fresh and lovely but then it dries down to something a lot more warm sensual exciting mysterious and I just oh I just love it like it's so good and the thing is I like heavenly ginger lily like it's a really really good molten brown bath and shower gel but it's never at the top of my list of purchases it's always like in the middle like it's always good and it's a good gift it's a good crowd pleaser but I think as a perfume it's even better like it's so good but yeah you get this real complexity it's very warm it's quite exotic it doesn't it doesn't feel every day it feels really special there is a hint of tuberose but it's not overpowering tuberose there is a hint of like lily but it's not too much there's almost some um orchid or something in there there's kind of um there's almost a slightly cherry note like maybe some heliotrope maybe some gardenia but then there's also spice and you get that ginger, you get that cardamom, you get that kind of warm spiciness. You get some sunshine in there too, but you also get a woodsiness, like cedarwood, sandalwood, just like a lovely warm, warm wood, like a sunshine filled wood. Do you know what I mean? And then again, that vanilla, it's not too much. It's just a hint of vanilla. It's not what you would describe as a sweet perfume. But there is definitely a sweetness there and that vanilla is really warm and almost honeyed it's almost like sun beaten slightly slightly dried up do you know, but in a good way like dried do you know what i mean it's got that warm sun beaten honeyed almost caramelized it's not a fresh vanilla it's not a sickly sweet vanilla it's more of a boozy bourbon-y sun filled vanilla Oh, it's so beautiful, like it's really special. 
I can't describe it because it's like it's not quite a white floral but it's not quite a pretty girly floral but it is also very pretty but it's not it's not too much it's quite sophisticated it's got a bit of a vintage feel to it as well but I just love it I love the complexity I love the woods the smoke the sunshine the spice the flowers like it's just all mingling into this like beautiful kind of late summer Indian summer slice of warm sun-beaten joy it's lovely it's got this kind of sparkly sparkly freshness to it which is lovely if you were wearing it in the summer but it's also got this kind of really warm comforting soft musky kind of feel which is really kind of like twinkly and like I can imagine her wearing it like in kind of the depth of winter and it kind of bringing joy but it also being quite like warm and smooth and comforting it's just lovely and it kind of at the same time just smells like like really good laundry <laughs> I know that sounds weird but it's just lovely I think it's a comforting feel of it it's just so beautiful but it also smells like holidays and warm sunshine filled evenings and oh I just love it it's such a beautiful perfume if you like heavenly ginger lily as a bath and shower gel but you wouldn't necessarily pick it as a eau de parfum forget everything you think because it's so much better and yeah it's just everything that it is but it's just taken to the next level it's magical it's fun it's exotic it's just so special it's beautiful and yeah I love I love the Molten Brown perfumes if you do nothing else next time you pass a Molten Brown shop or a concession please pop in please have a look please have a sniff around the perfumes because they really are beautiful if you love figs I would say try geranium nefertum or whatever it's called if you love something a little bit more spicy and unisex I would say try recharge black pepper and if you like something a bit more fun and flirty I would say try rose and rhubarb because that's also really beautiful but honestly their perfumes they're so good they're just so good and I feel like I'm not giving them enough love on my channel and I feel like they need to be shouted about more because they're really good Oh, I love this. I love this so much. I love the powdery, musky, floral, spicy loveliness to it. It's just, oh, it's so good. Um, so yeah, that's my video. I wanted to do a little bit of love for it because it's so good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will drop the links below. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much. Goodbye. <laughs>